What is blood pressure? Lateral pressure exerted by the flowing blood on the vessel wall is called blood pressure. I said, what is this? Which means the Western scientific medicine is not really scientific, if you want to know. But based on this, the class system has started. Western medicine is scientific. All other things are not scientific. One day I was giving a lecture in IIT Bombay. And uh, they had uh, invited me to give a lecture on blood pressure. IIT, you know IIT is all supposed to be very brilliant boys and girls and brilliant professors. So lecture went on. So I told them, what is blood pressure? A physics teacher in the class, PUC class, tells the student, laminar flow cannot exert lateral pressure because if it does, then it can't flow. Cosine 90 is zero. Right? Yeah. Mux up, mux up, mux up. Passes a CET with very high rank. Gets into the medical school. Physiology professor comes, class. Lateral pressure exerted by the flowing blood is called lateral blood pressure. That's blood pressure. Lateral pressure exerted by the flowing blood on the vessel wall is called blood pressure. I said, what is this? Where do these two things go? Second thing is, does the blood flow laminarly inside the blood vessel? Suppose you give an obstruction to the blood pressure. We say, oh, it's very bad obstruction. Have you heard of the Bernoulli effect? As a matter of fact, the blood flow may be better with the little obstruction. I was telling Karthike and Sap that the obstruction to the coronary arteries. See, the th simple three things we didn't ask ourselves. Why don't animals get a heart attack? Why only man should get a heart attack? Have you ever thought about it? Number two, coronary arteries fill in diastole, not in systole. So the pressure head is so low, that why should coronary arteries have atherosclerosis? I can understand the carotid arteries, leg arteries having, because the pressure is high, systemic pressure. Here diastolic pressure. So if you ask these three questions, it will be very clear to you that atherosclerosis is not a disease at all. Atherosclerosis is a good thing that the body does to band-aid an injury to your vessel wall. It's a beautiful band-aid. Actually, Valentin Fuster, a very famous cardiologist, interventional cardiologist in Washington has written, I quote, he said, less than 30% of the infarct-related coronary arteries are more than 50% blocked. Did you understand that? Less than 30% of the infarct-related vessel means the vessel which supplies the heart attack area, which you say blocked, are less than 50% blocked. So, bigger block is not important, lesser block is important. And if you go deep into it, you find out animals do not get a heart attack because animals can produce vitamin C in their system. You and I get a heart attack because we don't have capacity to produce vitamin C. So, heart attack possibly is a younger brother of scurvy. You heard sir, scurvy, where you bleed everywhere. Here you bleed into the vessel wall and then the vessel wall gets blocked and then heart attack comes. I mean, we don't think every newborn child wrote Alexis Carroll, a Nobel laureate surgeon who taught surgeons how to stitch blood vessels. He wrote, every newborn child is a genius only to be converted into an idiot in school. <laughs> because he stopped thinking. Otherwise, a student who is supposed to be a good student, quote unquote, who gets highest mark is called a good student, no? He's the best mugger. Who has, who has said cosine 90 is zero how can you accept the physiology professor saying that cosine 90 is the cause? Then one professor of uh, you know, physics got up uh, during question hour. He said, you are a brilliant lecture. I too don't believe in this blood pressure and all. I don't take medicines for that. But you mentioned Ayurveda. That's scientific. Then you are, a, you are a quack. I don't want to listen to you. This is the attitude of a professor in the IIT of physics. So I told him, sir, I'm so sorry, you are a professor in IIT. <laughs> he didn't like that. He was very angry. I told him, I thought professors in IIT are, we are wise people. You are a knowledgeable man in your subject, but you have no wisdom. Because you don't know what Ayurveda is. And you're talking about a thing you don't know. And Ayurveda probably has got the strongest scientific base because... It depends on non-linear mathematics.